So let's do this standard heat of formation <coughs> problem. Use the information in the table to calculate the standard heat of the reaction in kilojoules um, of ammonia reacting with oxygen to yield nitric oxide and gaseous water. So notice they have to give you the fact that it's gaseous. If not, then you won't know what state to put it in. Okay. Um, a step in the off-wall process for the commercial production of nitric acid. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is what? You guys know? Write the reaction equation. So, in this case, it's ammonia <coughs> gas plus oxygen gas goes to nitric oxide gas plus H2O gas. And we're looking for that. So what would be the next step? Balance it. Balance it. Okay, so this one's not very easy to balance. Um, so looks like it's four, five, four, six, yeah. Yeah, you guys got that. Yeah. You did it good, though. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, it's good. Um, and then what do you want to do? Well, you got to apply the Hess's law uh, portion of the heat of formation, right? So. Um, what was that reaction? Do you guys remember? Or the equation that we're going to be using eventually? Help me out whenever you guys want. Very good, guys. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, okay. But you get a book. You change the yeah, size right, quickly yeah. and enough time to write it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. So remember, it's products minus reactants, okay? And remember this sign, summation sign, okay? So uh, now we've got to go back and look at the table. Okay, and look for these various um, compounds or whatever is up here, okay? Not to give them anything away. So gaseous ammonia, what's the heat of formation? You guys see it? Negative 46.1. And we're just going to say um, the heats of formation of all of these are in kilojoules. Or, sorry, kilojoules per mole. Okay, so negative 46.1. What's the heat of formation for oxygen? Um, it's zero. zero, right? Good job. Yeah, no, I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Okay, so you guys remember why is it zero? Because it's in its standard state. It's by itself in its standard state. Um, NO? 91.3. 91.3. This is a positive. And H2O gaseous here. Negative, I'm sorry, I can't see 241.8. Okay. So now, I like to do these brackets and whatnot. So 4 times negative 46.1 kilojoules per mole. plus 5 times 0 kilojoules per mole. Oh. Duh. That's not the way to do it. I'm going to do the products minus the reactants. I was testing you guys. 4 times 91.3 kilojoules per mole plus 6 
times negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole. Minus four times negative forty six point one kilojoules per mole plus five times zero kilojoules per mole. Okay. So getting the calculator over here. you guys got the same answer I did. I got negative 901.2 kilojoules per month. Okay. So um, that's the delta H of this reaction and you can use the heat of formations to do this. Is everybody okay with this type of problem? Any questions about this one? Let's just box this okay. and call it a tape. 